My name is Edward Buck. I'm the VP of Services and Support at United Layer. There are basically two models of storage. One is local storage, and then there's networked storage. Uh, network storage comes in a couple of forms primarily. One, it's network attached storage, uh, or NAS, and there's SAN, which is storage area network. So local storage is, is the equivalent of you know, the disk that's in your laptop. Um, it's directly connected to the server. Think of it as a shared file system on the network. And you can use that shared file system, connecting that to a number of different servers and give, you know, allowing them to access those storage resources on that file system. Uh, a SAN, on the other hand, you might think of that as a hard disk on the network, an unformatted hard disk. It's basically raw storage. Choosing between these different options really comes down to cost and uh, performance requirements. Um, you know, regardless of the option that you choose, you know, you want, you'll want to make sure that the uh, disks within the uh, system are redundantly set up, which means you'll want to be using RAID. In addition to RAID setup, you actually want to monitor the, that RAID. Uh, you know, RAID setup without monitoring actually is not any better than not having RAID. And we at United Layer, uh, we have standardized on RAID across all of our systems. Uh, because nobody likes an outage. A SAN solution is probably a very common architecture for a private cloud. Yeah, I wouldn't say that local storage or SAN storage or network storage is inherently, you know, one of those models I wouldn't say is inherently more secure than another. Uh, but I think the key is in how you manage your storage, ultimately. Um, there are ways to secure your data at rest, which probably happens at a level above the actual storage. Um, for example, there are ways to encrypt a file system uh, so that when the data is at rest on the file system, on the storage device, that you know, even if someone were to get at that data, uh, they won't be able to read it because it's encrypted. Uh, you know, there are ways to encrypt databases at rest, and there are also ways to encrypt data as it actually is being read from these uh, devices. 